Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review. So, back to my favorite brewery once again, Steg Bayerts Bryggeri, you know the drill. Uh, tonight we're taking a look at their New World Pilsner, coming in at 5.2%. 440 mil can, standard Steg Bayerts uh, artwork there. Pretty cool, gotta say. There you go. Yeah. Uh, unfiltered, unpasteurized, uh, contains water, malted barley, rice and hops and yeast. And that's it. I uh, did a little bit of a checkup on it. So it's dry hopped with Nelson Sauvin. So of course a new world hop from New Zealand. That's it. That's the information we got. On to the beer then. There we go. Oh yeah, good deal of smoke on that one. So let's pour it into a uh, regular Pilsner glass here. There we go. All right, so. Yeah, good deal of head on that pour. Three fingers worth uh, of white. Uh, lovely carbonation. Golden color. Touch of haze to it, actually. So there's definitely some haze to it. But I mean, yeah, it looks good. Smells nice already. Let's go a little bit further on the nose then. Yeah, so it's a light breadiness on the nose and a big fruitiness as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So first I got, the, as I said, a little bit of a light breadiness, then a big fruity vibe, then lemon. Big lemon sensation on the nose. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it smells nice. It really smells nice. So with that said, let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. Again. Mm. So you got a, a good deal of bitterness on this one, actually. You got a lemony, light bready, fruity vibe. Uh... With a kind of a long lingering uh, both malt and hop bitterness, I would say. To get a little bit of that. Malts, of course, tend to be sweet. But you can also have a little bit of a bitterness from, from malts, of course. And uh, I think that, that kind of combines there in the aftertaste with this one. Uh, yeah, so it's got a long lingering dryness as well on the palate. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not a bad beer. Uh, but but then again, it's nothing crazy. It's not something sensational. It is what it is. It's a Pilsner, albeit a New World one. Final sip. Mm. Yeah, so for me, definitely drinkable. I mean, if you like your more kind of hopped pilsners with a little bit of a bitterness at the back end and then a kind of a drying out sensation, light breadiness, touch of fruitiness to it, touch of lemon there, uh, with a little bit of a hop combined, combined hop and malt sensation at the back end, uh, you will probably love this. For me, I'm, I'm definitely more of a uh, old pilsner, old world pilsner guy if I'm, if I'm going to you know, decide, but hey, it's nice to try. Uh, Stig by Spriggery, New World Pilsner, 5.2%. For me, drinkable, but not a favorite. Uh, 3.5 out of 5. Thank you for watching.